And a rocky start to Fun 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 Fest Friday. Folks in line outside trying to get inside took hours. But that was the view from our Estonian camera. You could see people lining up along South First all the way back up to Cesar Chavez. One fellow telling us it took him three hours. The festival said it is sticking by their strict no refund policy. Our Amanda Brandeis reports from Auditorium Shores today, a different story. As you can see behind me, people are moving right through the entrance, but that was not the case last night. I'm told they brought in more manpower to make sure things run smoothly. But some people we talked to are still upset about last night's line nightmare. For festival goers, there's something special about Fun 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 Fest. It's uh, Keep Austin Weird. You know, it's got that feel and vibe to it. It's just more intimate. I could, I could see a band of posts if I wanted to. I don't have to see a football field away. While intimate, the venue still packs in thousands of people each day to see their favorite artists. Um, Modest Mouse, 2 Chains, Wiz Khalifa, City in Color, about everybody. But this year, a major hiccup on the first night left attendees like this couple frustrated. When we first saw the line, we couldn't really believe what it was for. It was, it was pretty upsetting. We were over the river with all the mosquitoes for about an hour, hour and ten minutes. And then after that, it took another hour. A two and a half hour wait meant missing the bands they paid to see. It's, it's, it sounds like excuses. It sounds, you know, it doesn't sound like they were prepared or they knew what they were doing. But they say Saturday went just fine. Every festival has their hiccups. You know, every every festival. Yesterday was a major one. And uh, I'm not worried about one by one becoming ACL because I think they have um, a vision, you know, which is to make it to make it to make it different than you know the mainstream ACL. And that they will be back again next year. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News.